seat, Edward. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, sir. Today, I want to introduce to you Mr. Phillips of the Commonwealth Savings Bank. Many of you have joined the school bank, and I know that some of you are thinking of making a start. Mr. Phillips has come along to tell you why you should save, and what happens to your money when you put it into the bank. Morning, boys and girls. Good morning, sir. Well, to begin with, how many of you have money to spend each week? I don't mean pounds or even shillings. Just little pieces of money. Sixpences, threepences, even pennies. One threepence or sixpence is very small, isn't it? Too small to do much with. But if you could gather a hundred or two hundred of them, then you could do something worthwhile, couldn't you? What the school bank does is to help you to gather all the little pieces of money together until they become a large amount. Now, we don't ask you to save all your money, but a part of it. There are some of you already in the school bank. How many? What are you saving for? A house. A house? That's something big, something good too. How about you? A fishing rod. And? The shirt. Yes. A bike. The shirt. I'm saving for the shirt too. Good. Now, all those small pieces of money you save grow into a large amount. You know that your money mounts up. But there's another thing. The bank looks after your money. It guards it in a safe place for you and pays you money for lending it to the bank. Now, what the bank pays you is called... Interest. Interest. That's right. Now, how can the bank do that? Well, supposing we were to take you to a bank, what would you see? Supposing you and you and say you, were able to go and see what happened to your money. How would you like that? I'd like to go, if I'm allowed. That's right. Well, let's see what we can do about it. He didn't say you. Oh, that's all right. Wouldn't you like to come too? Well, what are you going to do? All right. Let's go. That, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Hmm? <laughs> well, Judy. Oh, there you are. That big building across the street is the savings bank the main one for the city. It's where many of your mothers and fathers bank their money. Let's go and see what happens to this money. Find the traffic. people are banking, the same way you do at school. On this side, they're depositing or putting money into the bank. And over there, they're taking out some of their money from the bank. These people are withdrawing money to buy things they've been saving for. Six double nine. 